Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw a dodecagon when given the length of the side. So when we talk about a dodecagon, that's a polygon with 12 sides. So polygon with 12 sides. So that's what we call a dodecagon. So now in drawing this, I'm going to be using a side of 4 cm. So let's say the side that you are giving is 4 cm. So it's important to know that irrespective of the side that you are giving, either 4, less than 4, or more than 4, just know that the step is the same thing. And also, this video is going to be method 1. I'm going to be showing you three different methods of drawing a dodecagon. So whichever method you find convenient for you, you are free to apply. So before we get into this video proper, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So just click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Also click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get notified when I release any video. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. Like I said, it's absolutely free. So if you are yet to, please just take your time to just click on it. Alright, thank you very much. So now to start with, we are going to be drawing one side of the uh, dodecagon. So I said we are using 4 cm, so I'm going to be drawing one side of it. So from this point to this point represent 4 cm. So I haven't drawn that side, another thing I want you to do is to extend it to the left. So you can just extend it to the left a bit with a faint line. So let me call this is AB. This is one side, so 4 cm, let me note that. So the next thing we are going to do is, we are going to bring in our compass and draw a semicircle from point A with the length 4 cm, with the same length of the side. So this is 4 cm. So I'll place it on point A and draw a semicircle. Alright, so I already have my semicircle there. So the next thing we are going to do is now on this semicircle, we bring in our protractor and divide it into 12 equal parts. So you place your protractor on point A and make sure your protractor is properly placed. In dividing it into 12 equal parts, remember the angle in a semicircle is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees divided by uh, 12, so that will give us 15 degrees. So that will be at 15 degrees interval, we are going to be marking this, those points on our protractor. So start with, so this is 15, plus another 15, that's 30, so 45, 60, 75, then 90, so this is 105, 120, 135, this is 150, 165. So now I've been able to divide it to 12 equal parts, so you can see it's very easy. Now pay attention to how I'm going to number it. Okay, it's looking below. Alright, so pay attention to how I'm going to number it now. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. Now the next thing is you are going to bring your ruler and join from point A. So here you are having point 2. But you are not going to join it directly to point 2. Just make sure that you are on it like this. So from point A to where you are having point 2. Now, draw a line that is from the semicircle to point A. Like this. So because this is where the point 2 is. So you draw a line to the semicircle. Now let's call that point point C. Because this point A, C now represents one other side of the dodecagon that we are going to be drawing. So I haven't done that. Now we are going to bisect line A, B and line A, C. In doing that, we we'll bring back our compass again. With the same 4 cm, you place it on point B. You draw an arc at the top. You draw it below, like this. From point A with the same length, add it. make sure you see, make sure you don't do some of these mistakes. Place it on point A, draw an arc at the top and below. Now from their point of intersection, so, just that little shift, I want to confirm if my compass is still measuring 4 cm. So, you have to make try as much as possible to avoid uh, such errors. So, uh, if, you, if you notice what happened here, just that little shift uh, from point A by my compass, you know, 
it's, uh, if I had not confirmed, I'll be getting the wrong result. So it's also important to be very careful and avoid such mistake. Now, from their point of intersection, the one we are having here. So the one that you have in here, it's looking below, okay? From here and the one below is not showing, but just their point of intersection, you are going to join it together. So you have something like this. So what we did to line AB, we repeat the same thing to line CA. So with the same 4 cm, you place your compass on point A, you draw an arc on this side, and then on the opposite side, draw an arc like this. You place it on point C, draw an arc like this. So the point of intersection, this is it here, and here, you draw another line. Now this line that we've just drawn, now they both intersect, which is the bisector. Their point of intersection now is here. So that point, I'm going to call it point O. Now this point O represents the center of the dodecagon that we are drawing. That represents the center. So what you are going to do is you are going to bring your compass, place it on point O, and extend it to point A. So where we are having A. So this is where we are having point A. And then from that, you draw a circle. So you are going to be having something like this. Now the next thing is now, is still we are still using our compass. Now you measure the 4 cm, which is the length of the side. This is 4 cm. You place it on point B, and you mark it on, this, on the circle, on the circumference of the circle. Where you mark it, you place your compass there. You mark it on the circle again. So what you are doing now, you are going to repeat it around the circle like this so the same thing so make sure that your compass you place it where these lines that we are marking is touching the circumference of this circle now what happens when you don't let it to touch the last side i mean properly on the where they are at the point of intersection of this line on this circumference, it will affect the last side of whatever polygon you are drawing. So make sure it is properly placed. And now we are going to be having something like this. So the next thing is now we are going to join those points together. So from point B, join it here. So we are going to be using bold line because we are with that we have already have our dodecagon. So we keep joining lines like this to connect them so if you are finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up please click on that button with thumbs up and also subscribe if you have yet to subscribe to PA Academy like I said it's absolutely free so just click on that subscribe button to subscribe alright so you just keep joining all those points together Also, if you're interested in getting some of these uh, technical and drawing drawing tools, I'll leave a link to it in the description of these videos. So now we let's call this point C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K. Now you can see we have what's twelve side. This is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So now this is the first method on how to draw a regular dodecagon when you are given the length of the side. So all the sides now are going to, are going to be 4 cm. So in the next part of this video, which is the method 2, I'm going to be showing you another method that you are going to use in getting a dodecagon when you are asked to draw a dodecagon. Remember I said I'm going to be showing you three methods. So now in the next part, and that video that I'll show you coming up, right here towards the end of this video so do make sure you watch this video to the end so it will be popping up here once you click on it it will take you there also in the description of this video i'm going to be leaving the links and also link to other regular polygon if you have to draw that regular polygon when given the length of the side or even when you are not given the length of the side i'm going to be leaving the link to those videos in the description of this video so with that let's move to the part two of this video and let me show you 
how to do this again with another method. Thank you.